my favorite time of the year is probably a little different than most farmers. My, my favorite thing to do is plant corn. It's putting that seed in the ground and planting potential. My name is Grant Strum, a farmer with my family on Strum Farms, which is located in Dehinda, Illinois. Uh, we grow corn, soybeans, a little bit of hay and alfalfa, and some cattle. The legacy of our farm uh, dates back about four generations. When I started farming in 2003, it was my father, my grandfather, myself, we're all farming full-time together. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Beautiful day. Everybody at the farm here has their own role. Uh, I'm definitely the technical guy when it comes to analyzing data, making decisions about returns. When I walk out the office door and I get outside, dad's in charge most of the time and that's, that's great because the tradition and the way it's changed from my grandfather to myself, it's always been a team effort. You know how many bushels of corn we get per acre? Won't be long, a couple months we'll be going. The thing I'm most proud of about our farm is how we treat the land. We, we fertilize based on need and timing and placement. We don't want the nitrates or phosphates running into the groundwater. So having a sustainable practice in place is extremely important to our farm. That's going to be interesting if we get a yield bump or the same amount of nitrogen in just the application. My relationship with Grant has really kind of uh, come about really naturally. I came to him about two years ago about the four R's. It's all about fertility management, selecting the right source, applying it at the right time, at the right place, and at the right rate. The four R system has brought a lot of different changes in application and ways we apply fertilizer and the timing that we, in which we apply that fertilizer. Some of the biggest challenges on our farm when it comes to raising crops and our fertility program has to deal with the, the tremendous diversity we have in our soil types. So we have to approach every field differently. Probably the biggest thing I have a passion for is just the, the problem solving and everything that goes into operating a farm on a daily basis because nothing is ever the same. As a retailer, I work really hard to make my farmer's uh, expense turn into an investment. It's what it's all about is improving their livelihood. Yeah, hopefully them kernels get about twice that size. Yeah. yeah. What hands-on meant to my grandfather and my father is pretty radically different than what hands-on farming is today. Traditionally, as farmers, they thought the only time there was a value was when they were out working, working with livestock, working the crops, actually planting corn, harvesting corn. But a lot of money can be made behind the scenes in the off-season analyzing that data and having a structured plan when you go into that next growing season. You know, back in my days, it was labor, 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 and now it there's, was. there's a lot more. Farmers are businessmen. We're not doing anything that uh, we don't feel we're getting an economical return on. And the four R's are gonna make each individual farmer's operation more sound and economically profitable. It folds into this environmental standpoint of keeping safe for animals and other human beings, but also from an economic standpoint of when we're losing those nutrients off of our fields, that is costing us money. How you approach a field to plant it, it's a lot of thought it has to go into just, besides just driving a tractor around, circuits and back and forth. I've got all these ideas I've been dreaming about all winter, and you get to spend all summer looking at how's it working, watching soils tests, watching tissue samples of the crop, and in the end we've just had, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, the best four or five crops we've ever put together in a row now. It's been a great honor for me to be a part of this, you know, this farming operation. It's really neat to see a, a family that has been able to put something together like this, but to, I mean, to keep it going and keep it headed in the right direction. Just having a new beginning and a fresh start every year is something I really enjoy. You're not just planting a corn seed, but you might be planting a new record, a new way of doing things. To me, farming is just one big math problem that uh, if you're really good at, you can always kind of figure out the right answer.